Hey YouTube, it's Zion Prepper here, and I'm going to show you how to distill water. And you might need to distill water, uh, let's say if you have a water boil alert where there's a concern there might be giardia um, or cryptosporidium, which can cause diarrhea and other issues as well, which causes dehydration. You're going to need to purify that water. And the most common way to do it is by boiling. And you want to boil it about one minute, that's per CDC guidelines. I do it three minutes, uh, it doesn't really cost me any more time, and it, and it ensures that the water is clean and purified. But I'm going to show you a, a distillation procedure that's very simple, very straightforward. It's the same concept as a solar still that you would do out in the uh, wilderness or the timber if you needed water, uh, even the desert for that matter. Distillation is a great procedure because what you end up with in a cup is pure water. Um, when you boil water, you still have the chemicals in the water. With distillation, depending on the boiling points of the chemicals, you end up with pure water with no chemicals. Once again, depending on the boiling point of the chemicals themselves. Um, I'm going to show you a rain barrel. And this one's mostly frozen, but what I would do if I had to use my rain barrel for water at my house, I'm not in the wilderness now, um, cheesecloth, what I would do use this for is to filter out any sediment that may have come through, any little leaves. Because it is uh, a rain barrel, you're going to get some sediment from the shingles uh, on the roofs. So I'm not going to use the lower one here. If I were to use the lower one here, i turn it on for a while, probably 10 seconds, let some of that sediment come out, and then use the water. I'm going to use the one that's higher up. Um, and it's frozen, so nothing's going to come out right now. Um, obviously, I have a, if I needed to, I have a heat gun. I'd heat the barrel up a little bit. Regardless, you'll understand the point. If I wanted to, I could put this over there. The cheesecloth over the spigot, it would filter the water, get, it out any, get out any big debris, and then I'd fill my pan full of water. Okay, I did, uh, I am getting a little bit of water out of this rain barrel, and I'm getting some of the sediment in the bottom of it. It's uh, almost like a little bit of dirt, so this will be a great example of water purification. I'm just going to be real patient and let this fill, and then uh, we'll get to the distillation part in a second. Okay, so I've got the water for my rain barrel right here. And once again, I can boil this for one minute. Uh, I usually do three just to be on the safe side, but there's still sediment in there. And you might, even though I tried to filter it out with the cheesecloth, I could use a coffee filter, I could use my socks. I, you know, I could use whatever I needed to filter out the big stuff. Now that you have the water in there, you're gonna need to place a, a vessel, and I'm just gonna use a coffee cup to catch the actual pure water. And then I'm gonna take the lid, and I, I'm gonna use a clear lid so you can see the actual uh, process and invert it. When you invert it, the first thing you notice is it forms an angle. What's going to happen is two processes, or evaporation. So the water in here is going to evaporate up and then it's going to hit this glass and because there's a temperature difference, in other words the glass is cooler than the bottom of the, plan, the, bottom of the pan, excuse me, it's going to condensate. The water as it condensates is going to roll down here to this point and drip down into this cup. So we're going to put it right here and we're going to turn the heat up. The water will come down, drip into the cup, and you'll have pure water. The water, the raw water, which is around the cup in the bottom of the pan, still may contain chemicals, but your water in the cup is good water. The disadvantage is you can see you're not getting a whole lot of pure water. So you may want to end up boiling it. Um, and then you'll get a lot more, but you won't get necessarily purity. And you can see right here the water starting to actually is starting to uh, condensate and come down into that cup. It will help hit this and go straight down. The advantage is it's chemical free. Now what you also need to remember is as that water boils, you want to turn the boiling down, which I'm going to do. And the reason you want to do that is you want to control it because you don't want the raw water, in other words, the water in the bottom of the pan splashing over into this cup because you've now contaminated this cup so it's no longer pure water. When I'm in the timber, if I had to do this, um, I would actually hang a cup from this inverted lid. In other words, I would take a jute twine or something and hang the cup so that's not actually physically setting in the water. So you can see right here, you know, you can see all the water beginning to condensate and it's all dripping down towards this and it's dripping into the cup. Okay, if I were in the timber, I would do the same thing and right there you can see my MSR stove 
Now, obviously, I wouldn't be using that pan. I'd be using the, uh, my hiking cook gear, but you can see I'd have to control the flame. You know, get the right amount of heat because you don't want that water splashing over into that cup, but the principle is the same. Now, once again, this is the same principle as a solar stove, which I should do a video, but it'd probably be a six-month video because in Illinois, we don't get many sunny days here. But um, And what's going to come out that cup, whether you're doing it in the timber or in your house because of a water boil alert or no water in your house, is pure water, chemical-free. Well, and there you have it. I didn't uh, let it boil that long. I just wanted to show you the fact that you could get uh, purified water. And in that water, it's absolutely pure. You can't see it because water's clear and the cup is white, but there is water in there. So, Cyan Pepper saying thanks for watching. And now you have an idea of how to make distilled clean water. Thanks. And have